and the shape of it also determines how I pack it. What else do we need? We need to protect this fragile area here. Simple cells for good profit. The thought of three Francoma USA Pottery Off-White Coffee Mugs with this unusual handle sold for $30 plus shipping. Coffee mugs, completely different shape, and the shape of it also determines how I pack it. So these are Francoma, which you know we love to find. Francoma, you've heard that name before if you follow our channel. And this is a huge bowl. This could almost be a soup bowl, not just a coffee cup. These cups do have a lot of crazing, we disclose that. This one has some black marks in the bottom, we disclose that too in the condition. In fact, we have as is in the title and description. Let's fill the center of this bowl. Kind of doubting that one piece of tissue paper is going to do it, but we'll try. Just pretty good. Back to focusing on the one cup. Need to do something about this hollow area in the handle. Probably a half a sheet of tissue paper will do. I don't have any links for the tissue paper. I'm sure you could find some on Amazon. So if you go to click on any of my other links, just take a look and see if you can find tissue paper. I just happened to pick this up at my local Dollar Tree, not sponsored, and I buy about 10 to 20 packs at a time. I'm going to run it through halfway through the handle and just push on it on both sides towards the center. Being careful not to put any pressure on the handle, only on the tissue paper. Because of weight, I'm not going to wrap the outside of this. Instead, I'm just going to go right to the small bubble wrap. I'm going to try a half sheet of bubble wrap this way and half. I don't think this is going to make it, but I'm going to test it first. Well, you know what? It almost makes it, but I still want more protection. Let's go ahead and add a half a sheet of large half inch bubble wrap. Not all bubble wrap is made the same. Even if they say it's large bubble wrap, it's not always large bubble wrap. So I found a good source online and that's why I order it from them. I'm thinking about turning this cup upside down. Nope, this handle is raised up higher than the cup, so I'm not going to turn it upside down. This is a long coffee cup. It really is. It's not very tall. It's a, it's a short coffee cup, a shallow coffee cup, but it is long. And always feel around and see if you have any hard spots. I can actually feel the side of the cup a little bit. Two things, either I can add more bubble wrap or, or be very careful how I place it in the box and make sure this is protected. Another half sheet of tissue paper. You can use a swimming pool noodle. I could have cut this to length and made it fit, but it does take up more room and that's why a lot of times I'm not using these anymore. And you know what, I've got a whole bunch of them. And here's a tip for you. I just took a minute, barely a minute, and I went ahead and prepped my other pieces that I know I'll need for the other coffee cups. So once you've decided how you're going to pack it, I suggest you do take just a minute and get your other packing materials prepped and it will go so much faster. Let's continue and I'll speed this up. not only am I giving this handle small bubble wrap protection, I'm giving it an extra layer of large bubble wrap protection. And then even more when I fold this up. Got a thank you label on one of these. What size box do I need? I'll figure that out and be right back. I'm going to try this eBay box. 12 by 10 by 8, let me get it assembled. I'm thinking about putting two stacked and one 
on its side. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm not sure how many air pillows here. Okay, four. But I think I have to tear two and fill in this way. Putting three sheets on the widest part of the box, two sheets the opposite direction. As I said, I'm hoping to stack two here and one on its side. And remember, on one of the cups, I could feel the side of the bowl. I think it's this one. I think we're good on this one. I'm trying to move them to the center. Instead of pushing them to a side, I'm going to move them directly in the center. Go ahead and start putting the bubble wrap. And then I'm going to fill in this gap with air pillows. I'm not sure how many I'll need. I don't know if I can fit any on the sides, but I'll try. Maybe one, nope. When I can't fit the air pillows where I want them, I just take another sheet of large half inch bubble wrap, cut it in half, and fit this down in. Feeling pretty good. I'm at the end of the roll of my bubble wrap, so I'm gonna put that in first, and then a good sheet, because that last piece is never as good as the others. By golly, I think we've got it. Do the shake test, feels good. Get it taped up. The Francoma Cups. Frank, who is a designer who lived in Oklahoma, Francoma, his coffee cups are going to SL in California. Keep watching, we have some glasses to pack. thought of four anchor hawking bubble burple inspiration <laughs> yes burple inspiration iced tea glasses a lot of four sold for forty dollars plus shipping i'm going to need four sheets of this foam and i found if i give it a little tear first and fold this over it tears a little easier so i need four of these And you can find a link for this in the description below the video. I use this all the time. I love it for glassware and fragile items. Of course, I always add more protection than this. What else do we need? We need to protect this fragile area here, right here at the foot. For that, I'm going to use some small bubble wrap. I'm going to cut a sheet in half. When I say a sheet, I mean 12 by 12 by 12. Let's go ahead and prep for all four glasses. I'm going to take this and I have to decide if I want to fold it in half. I think I'm going to fold it actually in thirds. Just wrap it around this most fragile area here at the foot. I'm just going to use regular tape because I don't want it to be very hard at all for them to remove this. That's a nice little protection there. You know, I do like to focus on one glass at a time. So let's take the foam wrap. And of course we have this hollow area to fill here. And this is not going to make it. So we need some tissue paper or bubble wrap, but I think I'll use tissue paper. I imagine it's going to take one whole sheet of tissue paper. Could probably put even more, but I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to start wrapping this in the foam wrap. I'm going to fold the bottom up as I roll it. Use some masking tape and then tuck this inside. Let's see if one square of bubble wrap is going to work to cover this entire glass really close here and you can see it's not going to cover here so guess what we can do we can take a half sheet of the large half inch bubble wrap put it over lengthwise wrap the center first tape it tuck this extra piece over this rim and pull this up and you can see I have large half inch bubble wrap covering the entire rim let's try the bottom Always make sure your tape is pressed down. I 
went ahead and took a minute and prepped all my bubble wrap, everything that I'll need to finish the other glasses. All four glasses are wrapped. I just need to decide what box they're going to fit in. At least eight inches high, for sure. As you know, I keep a variety of sizes on hand of boxes. I've got an 11 by 11 by 11. Let me get that assembled. I'm putting two rows of four air pillows in the bottom. They don't fit perfectly side by side, but I'm going to make it work. Three sheets of large half inch bubble wrap going one direction, and three sheets of large half inch bubble wrap going the opposite direction. And before I forget, I've got one thank you label left on this sheet. I'm going to make sure it gets on one of the glasses. There, I pulled the camera back. Hopefully you can see a little better. I might have to alternate these, one up, one down, but I'm going to try to put them all with their feet down. Pulling the bubble wrap up, adjusting it, making sure everything is fitting as flat as possible. There's a lot of room in here, a lot of movement, and I do recycle packing materials whenever possible. I probably got these from an Amazon order. So I'm going to fit some of these in the center between the glasses. I've got two of them so that the glasses can't hit each other. And now I need to fill in around the perimeter. What I don't want is any movement. Here's something I don't show you very often. I actually save the bag that the air pillows come in and I cut it in half. I just cut it <laughs> and I use this as filler. So I try to make use of everything. I'm just going to pour everything to the center and start tucking this in. See what I've done here? I've eliminated the movement. And I didn't use the air pillows. I actually used the large plastic bag that the air pillows came in. But I do think I can tuck some more of these around. Again, the link for these is in the description below the video. We're almost there. Let's try this. Two sheets of the large half inch bubble wrap. Do I have too much or just enough? It's pretty snug. I think one might do it. Although I could use a little extra in the center. Half sheet, fold it in half, whatever it takes to be able to comfortably close it, but not too much pressure, just a little bit. Let me give it a shake. That feels really good. Nothing is moving. I'll get it taped up and in the mail. The bubble purple glasses are heading to Texas. Simple sales for good profit.